you know, this is really a great day for ETSU. It's kind of like coming home because, you know, I think all the success and all the tradition and all the rivalries that over the years have developed between ETSU and the Southern Conference uh, members is something that a lot of people remember and that they really cherish. And so this is a great day for, for ETSU. And, you know, I see Dave Mullins back there. This has got to be a great day for him because, you know, he's kind of the guy that kind of got us to this position. So, Dave, great day. Um, but, you know, it's, it's kind of funny, you know, when, when, you know, when I got here, you know, we talked about going to the Southern Conference and John I. Marino, who is commissioner of the Southern Conference, uh, and I go back a long way when I got to BCU, John was assistant commissioner of the Sunbelt Conference, the conference that we were in. It was kind of interesting because John and, and another assistant commissioner was a guy named Doug Elgin, who now is the commissioner of the Missouri Valley, and Doug has been the commissioner for a long time. But John and Doug really used to run the meetings in the Sun Belt. They would be there, and you know, we'd meet. And, and our commissioner was a guy named Vic Bubis. And if you know, Vic Bubis was a former basketball coach at Duke, but at that time. Uh, Vic was kind of the preeminent expert in college basketball and really thought of very, very highly. Well, it was kind of like we'd have a meeting for a day and a half and all of a sudden, you know, uh, Vic would descend from his throne and come down the meeting for about 15 minutes and depart his wisdom and all the athletic directors would kind of kiss his ring and, you know, then he'd kind of <laughs> ascend back into his, you know, his elevated spot. So we went over to talk to John. I said, John, if we join this conference, I'm not going to kiss your ring no matter what. <laughs> So, um, but, but it's been great to, to kind of re-engage with John I. Marino. He's clearly, you know, thought of as one of the best commissioners in the country. He is, his leadership and vision has really set a tremendous foundation for the Southern Conference. I think it's a great opportunity for ETSU, like I said, to, to kind of re-engage those rivalries with Chattanooga and Western Carolina and Furman and Wofford and Citadel and those guys. So I think it'll really be a, a great situation. As we went out and talked to a lot of the people that in, in you know, in uh, Johnson City and Bristol and, and, and Kingsport, it was pretty clear that, you know, the Southern Conference was very important in their eyes and, and very important that, that ETSU kind of reestablish that relationship. So when I got here, you know, with Dave's help and with Dr. Nolan, you know, we worked very carefully and, and tried to stay under the radar a little bit so that it didn't get out there too much because the conference you're in right now, you know, you don't want to make them feel uncomfortable with this. But, you know, I think this is the right home for us and particularly as we start football, this is going to be a very competitive football league that we think we can really um, succeed in and uh, do well in and be a great conference member. So we're really excited about the Southern Conference. We really appreciate all of you being here. I think this makes a strong statement as to the excitement and the energy and the enthusiasm that ETSU is going to put forward in this, in, in this effort to compete for championships in the Southern Conference. So um, I just wanted to have an opportunity to introduce John I. Marino, one of the best commissioners in the country. John? This, this is a huge day for the Southern Conference. We are really delighted. Um, all throughout this process, we have tried to focus on three characteristics of institutions that we want to be part of this conference. And for those of you who don't know, this conference has been around since 1921. Uh, we're the fifth oldest Division I conference in the country. Uh, we've had, I think, before the, these last, uh, re, this last bout of realignment, we've had 43 Division I programs that were at one time or another members of the Southern Conference. Some of you probably know most of the ACC schools, many of the SEC schools were started in the Southern Conference. So we've always been very good about reinventing ourselves. It's kind of in our DNA. Um, and, and in this last uh, round of as we considered what we were going to do in terms of membership, uh, we, there were three characteristics that we really wanted to focus on. Number one was, was a strong academic profile. And, and we feel like we found that here at East Tennessee State. One of the things that really impressed the committee that I accompanied to, to visit the campus uh, a few weeks ago was when we met individually with the head coaches. To a person, every one of them talked about the successes their student athletes have had in the classroom and the GPAs that their, their team carries, and the number of the athletes that have made the honor roll. Uh, that's very important to us. Uh, the, the APR, the graduation rates, they matter in the Southern Conference, 
and ETSU will be a great fit in that regard. The, the second characteristic is geography. Um, it, this is a great place to be in terms of the rest of our conference. I work in Spartanburg, South Carolina. It took me exactly two hours to get here, an easy ride uh, up I-26. And for many of our schools, this will be a very central place to come to. And of course, you're located only an hour from where we're going to be playing our basketball uh, tournament for the foreseeable future. I know you're interested in that, Murray and, and Brittany. Um, and that is Asheville, North Carolina, where we'll be at least for the next four years. Only an hour away, we, we expect and hope we'll see a lot of blue and gold in the stands uh, at the Asheville Civic Arena. Um, the third characteristic is competitiveness. We're all very competitive people in college athletics, and we want to win. And we really feel that the success of this program in so many ways will be a boost to the Southern Conference. Um, I don't want to get into naming certain programs over others because I know that I may leave somebody out. But we know that ETSU is going to be competitive right away in, in the vast majority of our sports. We're ex thrilled about the, the addition of football, as I know you all are. Um, that's a very exciting thing to, to see it kind of rise up from the, from the, the ground. And um, I, was, I was remarking to, to, to Dick and to Barb on, on the ride up here to the building here. Um, you know, I can't wait to come back here for a football game and see the, uh, the scenery on I-26 in the mountains, you know, in the fall. I, I can imagine it must be spectacular. And we want to be successful on the court, on the field, um, and in the classroom. And, and I think the addition of ETSU will certainly help ensure our future to do that. And at this time, I'd like to uh, present to, to Dr. Nolan a couple of items with the Southern Conference logo on them that I hope you will in, enjoy and, and wear proudly. There's been an inordinate amount of work that has gone into making today possible. Work on behalf of our coaching staff, work on behalf of our legal team, work on behalf of everyone in this room, because today is the realization of more than a decade-long dream, and that's the dream to come back home to the Southern Conference, a conference in which we've been competitive, a conference in which we have had a rich history, and a conference in which we are going to be competitive in the years to come. I had the opportunity to attend the basketball tournament over in Asheville. Uh, great tournament, great setting. I look forward to seeing Coach Bartow's team on the court competing for conference championships. I look forward to seeing all of our teams competing in one of the most long-standing, well-respected conferences in the country, a conference that fits who we are as a university. Our opportunity to play Chattanooga, Western Carolina, Samford, Wofford, Furman, the Citadel, VMI. Those are our traditional rivals. Those are the institutions who the community has an affinity towards, and those are institutions that we can identify with. Today's a great day. Um, I can't tell you how meaningful today is because there has been a lot of work that's gone into making today possible. Um, today is a day when we all, as Buccaneers, have the opportunity to look forward to the future a future in which we're competitive, not only on the playing field, but off the playing field. And there's one other announcement that I'd like to make today. Uh, an individual who helped position us, an individual who has positioned us for excellence, someone who I think is one of the best athletic directors in the country. Today, it's my pleasure to announce that we're stripping the interim title off of Dr. Richard Sander, and he will now serve as the permanent athletic director of East Tennessee State University. Dr. Sanders is a wonderful individual, someone who has sacrificed his family to be part of the ETSU family. I've enjoyed working with you. Um, we're going to have a lot of fun in the next 12 to 16 to 18 to 24 months. We've got a lot of work ahead of us. Uh, in many ways, we are reconfiguring an entire department as we look forward to the future. 
not only are we adding football, but we'll be adding women's programs as well to balance our portfolio of scholarship programs. I can't tell you what they'll be. Um, we've had suggestions all the way from lacrosse to fencing to bowling. Um, <laughs> kidding a little bit. Um, but we will go about this in a thoughtful and deliberative manner as a university, just as we've gone about conference affiliation and finding a home for ETSU in a thoughtful and deliberative manner. I thank each of you for taking the time to be here today, and I want to close with thanking our coaches. I want to close with thanking our coaches, from Coach Zell to Coach Devine to Coach Warren to Coach Bartow to all of you who are here today. Thank you for taking the time to be a part of this, but thank you for what you do for our student athletes because what you do for our student athletes, both on the field and off the field, defines who we are as a university, but defines who they'll be as individuals for decades to come. This has been a great spring on campus, a spring that was highlighted by NCAA appearances in baseball and in tennis. Let's hope that this spring is the beginning of many, many springs to come in which we're not only making NCAA appearances, but we're graduating our student athletes because there's nothing more rewarding than that commencement ceremony for our athletes to see them realize the long-term dream of they and their families to walk across the stage and receive a degree. Because in the end, that's why we're all here. Thank you all very much and go Bucks.